Hey guys, welcome back. This week, I'm checking out the DZO Vespa Vintage Prime lenses. So today, I'm looking at Vintage Vespa DZO Prime lenses. <laughs> What a mouthful. I lent these from Pro AV. I don't own these lenses because they are expensive. I think they're about 17, 18,000 pounds for the total set. Now there is a lot here. We've got pretty much all the way from a 16 up to a 125. So that's a pretty hefty set of lenses. And I'll be honest with you, when I put these lenses on to begin with, I didn't like them. <laughs> I didn't like them. But the more I used them, the more I grew to like them. And by the end of using these lenses, I really enjoyed them. Now, they're not for every project, I don't think. They've definitely got a vintage look to them. Sort of red tint, and they flare. They flare, these lenses have crazy flare, which I like, you know, but not everyone does. For the kind of film, music video, that kind of stuff, I think you could get some really nice footage with these lenses. Now, these are cinema lenses. I have and own some Samyang lenses here. Now these are, you know, catered for, for film cameras, not so much for stills. Um, and there's a few reasons why. Now these are a lot smaller. This is the, this is the 24 mil Samyang lens that I've got here. So let's look at the equivalent, the 25 mil size difference here, slight size difference, definitely a weight difference, plastic metal. These lenses are way heavier. They're robust, they're big, they're heavy, they're silver as well, silver lenses. I love that we're getting different colored cameras now. <laughs> like every camera used to be black. Now we get all these different colored cameras. I kind of want a stripey camera, but yeah, silver lenses, which I guess adds to the vintage look of them, but really, really solid lenses. They're all the same size, basically, I think, which means that your focus ring is gonna be in the, the same position. So when you're switching lens, no need to move the and follow focus. So let's just talk a bit about the difference between something like this. And um, like, what's the main differences between a, a lens like this and a, a cinema lens? And, you know, apart from the build quality and, you know, the weight and the size, I would say a big difference is, and the, also the T-stop versus F-stop, which is, you know, I'm not gonna get into it here. I, I learned it once. It's something to do with one's a mathematical equation and some, the other one is something else. Um, but basically, big difference is going to be the focus barrel. Now, you know, the focus barrel on this lens is going to be spread out over a bigger distance. So it rotates basically 360 degrees around the lens there. Um, I'd imagine that this one is going to be, yeah, a much, much smaller distance. Maybe not even halfway around the lens. Now, what difference does that make? Well, that makes it far more easy for a focus puller to pull focus because basically the focus is spread out over a longer distance, which means that, you know, you can really fine tune those moves in and it's gonna make a more gradual, have a more gradual effect on the focus. Whereas something like this, you know, very minor tweaks are gonna affect the focus a lot more, which makes it way harder for a focus puller to hit their focus marks. Some cinema lenses, I know the GL Optics, Zoom um, 18 to 35, used to charge you more for the 360 versus the 180. Um, but that's the big difference. Um, basically, yeah, the, the focus wheels on all of these lenses, the focus is gonna be spread out over a longer distance to make it easier to pull focus. Also, you know, certain stills, certain stills lenses don't have these teeth for your, um, this has it in both the aperture and the focus, and that's for when you've got a focus device attached to it. Now, these lenses are obviously built to be used more for video. Um, like an almost imitation of these lenses, but basically all cinema lenses have um, focus teeth and, and aperture teeth as well, so that you can rig up a device to control that. So yeah, the build quality of these lenses is amazing. They feel great in your hands. They, you know, look great on the camera. Very strong look. You know, I did a lens test. I'll put some footage up of that. And lenses have a dramatic effect on the image and sometimes even as much as a camera. So, you know, you put a lens on the, the camera and it completely changes how your footage looks. That's what a lens does. It's, it has its own characteristics. It deals with contrast, deals with colors in its own way. And this 
deals with colors and contrast in its own way. And I've, I use this on a range of cameras. I've used them on the, we use them on the FX6. We use them on the Komodo. And also I use them on the Kinfinity. And that was really nice. It's really nice to kind of see how these um, lenses affect the different cameras and definitely more flares on full frame. These are full frame lenses. Obviously you can use them on Super 35. So something to take into account. Yeah, I'm also gonna, you know, put these up against my very cheap Samyangs because I got this whole set, did buy it used, but you can get the whole set of Samyangs for about one, one and a half thousand, which is probably the same cost as just this lens here. All cinema lenses are not cheap, so it's not like these are any different, but they are expensive and definitely something that I couldn't afford. But renting wise, I would love to put them to use on on something that I was going for more of a vintage look and I'm gonna do some grading with um, Dehancer, which if you've never checked out, check out Dehancer. I did a full review of it. Also, there's a link in the bio if you wanna get 10% off. It's expensive, but it's a great app for making your footage look like it was shot on film. So I'm gonna pair up Dehancer with these vintage lenses and just see how it looks. I'm really excited. Let me know what you think of how it looks too. First impressions of these lenses, I'd love to use them more. I'd love to put them to use on some, you know, bigger projects, but I only had them for a very short amount of time. So this is really just my initial thoughts. And yeah, so first put them on, I was like, ooh, is this too much? Grew to love them over time. Can't wait to use them again. Hopefully I'll loan these out again for a bigger project and really put them through their paces. Let me know what you think of these lenses. Let me know if you like them, would you rent them? Maybe they're a bit too strong for you, maybe not. Maybe this is exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, leave a comment, leave a like. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>